My name is Diana Tolmy and I'm the convener of the My Life as a Musician strand of courses at the Queensland Conservatorium. Even though Australia is particularly healthy in regards to support for the creative arts and for music in particular, it is actually on the decline. The challenge was to find something that basically supported uh, what students were currently doing now and also what they wanted to do in the future without the task being foreseen as something that was A, inapplicable to them and also impossible. So, you know, too competitive, why are we doing this um, when I could be best spending my time practising or doing something else? So initially we used um, the Australian Art Fund through the Australian Council and lo and behold, the actual fund itself got cut Instead of going for a government funding grant, uh, I looked more towards um, a private fund and this was the Ian Potter Cultural Trust. And that's a fantastic fund to use because it actually supports emerging artists. They want to know what have you done to date, what do you actually propose to do and what um, do you think you'll do with this, you know, what are the outcomes for the future and how can they impact yourself and then also others. These questions are just beautifully interrelated to career planning. We find we have a lot of students that get to sort of third year and they go through what I call like a mid-degree slump and they're wondering about the where to next. A lot of people actually opt to do and recognise that they need to do further study and the Ian Potter Cultural Trust actually supports this. Uh, a lot of people actually recognise that they have to really initiate their own activities and maybe sort of gain some more mentorship or go overseas and just have lessons and meet di diverse people, expand their social capital and their working capital. The outcomes of um, this is that they have um, much more an, of an idea of where they're heading, they have more uh, confidence in their career and you know you're doing something right when some students actually go for the grant for real and actually get it. So that's been some really good successes with that. In addition to the grant, they have to submit a one-page CV and they have to uh, submit a biography. They actually have to do design their own website and submit that as well, just as a screenshot. And so these, um, all of these, I guess, tasks help them develop their what we call persuasive writing skills. Musicians in general, because their vocation is something that's just quite altruistic. It's, you know, it's, it's selfless and selfish at the same time. They have to give a lot of themselves in order sort of to get a lot back, I suppose. In general, they're not very good at talking about themselves. They're not very good at promoting their own strengths and they're not very good at recognising their strengths. So we actually get the students to write, to, to pair and share and write each other's. And that's actually quite... Um, quite powerful because they actually just have to talk to the other person that's writing their biography. The other person asks them a lot of questions, you know, what have you done and what, and, and what we find is that the other person that is asking the questions will say things like, wow, that's really cool, gee, you've done so much, whereas that student hadn't really placed too much value on that. So it's about recognising their own strengths. Some of them they say, oh, I thought I wanted to do X, but now I realise after doing that task, I actually really want to do Y and Z. And so for some of them, it's actually, they say, well, this, this assignment saved me because I actually could have gone down that whole path and then discovered belatedly that it's actually something I'm really not interested in. But in the process of doing this assignment, they've worked out what they really want to do, at least in that point in time. You get to a point where there's only so much that you can assess. But in this case, at least this grand assignment ticks a lot of boxes. They have to write persuasively. They have to speak to their strengths. They have career planning in there as well. They have to understand income and expenditure, understanding that you need good images, that you actually need good video, you need to have good sound, you need to have a call to action on your website. And all those things actually tie in beautifully. You're not going to be able to teach absolutely everything and we always know that with any course that you're basically time poor and resources poor and also there's only so much that you can really discuss within one lecture. You want to allow the students to at least be left with enough understanding that when they leave the course or leave the institution, they know who to ask and what kinds of questions to ask.